not a big drinker, are you? Huh? Just gotta keep our heads up. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quota. I don't know you. Uh-huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. <laughs> Coming right up. Bring us honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old look. Fun. This ain't some quarterly performance review, soldier. Ours is a grave and sacred duty. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of Zero-G to your memory.
this.
What? Can handle this.
Easy. Any progress on that matter with... Wonderful. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. 
But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of con. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain. I've got some time. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine... Here. Something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but I hope we never do business together again. And there it is. The reason I don't like depending on a criminal. I kept a little contingency fee in case you decided to shake me down. Somebody deserving. Silas on account of him being out in the cold. Amelia seeing how she's around people all the time. Going quiet. I'm ready for this.
Mr. Thompson said to talk with Miss McDevitt before doing anything here. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense. You don't know what enough with the question. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some. Thank the Eternal. Wait, Marauder Camp? Is she all right? Queen of the Marauders, huh? That's what comes of watching serials. Rots your gray. If you could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some Marauders on the way... I'll tell you what I can... What is... Hey, take it easy with that thing. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. I've been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the... Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon. But it's been cleaned. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of... Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He 
you would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. I trust you will listen to your con- Watch out! work. System. Here we go!
processing. So. Dang, that's impressive. Mind the steam, you're liable to get scalded.
from the beginning. Can't get past that armor. What? Everyone all right? Leave me alone. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. Most people? But I'm the only one left. No. Remember your first rule, Higgins. No. See? See, Higgins, this is why you must always boil your sprats before. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether. I've come a long way for... I specialized in auto mechanicals. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Yes, that's exactly it. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. Oh, uh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal.
Where to go? If we send the power to Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil?
Once we do this, there's no going back. Hey, mister? Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow, she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back... Edgewater... Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I... Really? I mean, wow.